Hey guys, so as requested, I am back with another 2017 review of the old device. So we have the Galaxy S6 today, absolutely game changer for Samsung. I mean, compared to the Galaxy S5, this phone brought so much change uh, in terms of the overall design language of Samsung. I mean, they went full on premium and uh, there's not much of a, like a huge difference between the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S6. If I just quickly show you guys here side by side and, uh, that is that is really good. I mean, premiumness and and uh, awesome quality is something that Samsung has adopted now, uh, which we have seen with Apple uh, for for a long time. So uh, Samsung really now focuses on quality, and we will see even more better quality with the Galaxy S8. So I'm excited about that. But is it still worth buying in 2017? Uh, short answer: Yes, it is still worth buying in 2017. If we start off with the build quality, like I said, it is very similar to the Galaxy S7, so you get premium gloss and aluminum combination, so it feels really good in hand, it feels really premium, and uh, also, of course, it was built as a flagship device, so, uh, I mean, once a flagship, always a flagship, so even though it is now a ch uh, now cheaper, of course, uh, where I live, you can get the S6 in between like 300 to 450 dollars depending uh what the condition and the and the you know accessories and everything will be like if you get a really uh, good condition galaxy s6 with like all accessories it may cost uh close to 400 but uh yeah i mean the the build quality for that price is absolutely worth it uh if we quickly take a look at the display uh this is actually a quad hd display so samsung introduced quad hd to the Galaxy S lineup first with the S6 and it was a jump uh, from the resolution of the uh, S5 uh, from 1080p so it was a great upgrade and it is still a great great display I mean we don't really see that many quad HD phones on the market in you know four hundred dollar price range. So S6 is definitely uh, providing that, and it is super AMOLED, so you get great, great colors. The outdoor visibility is super great, so uh, I really enjoy Samsung displays overall. Screen size is five point one inch, so uh, in my opinion, it's absolutely perfect uh i can use this phone without any problem it's not too big not too small and also you can go with the s6 edge if you want to if you want that curve on the side so that's also an option and uh, this is like the full flat screen variant under the hood we have exynos 7420 processor which is still uh, a beast i mean performance wise it just it is super fast like i'm not lying i've done some speed tests it still uh holds up pretty well and uh, they decided to put this chipset inside of the galaxy a8 2016 so uh and that phone also is as fast as uh some of the top devices like i mean close to the s7 performance wise so uh, i mean really uh, it is of course not as good as the uh, the Samsung's latest processor or Snapdragon 821 when it comes to benchmark, but real life performance wise, you're not gonna be noticing that uh, uh, as far as my uh, ZTEC Air experience goes, you know, I can definitely assure you that. And uh, also, uh, the the software, uh, it came with a change. I mean, not a huge change compared to uh, the S5, you know, but did did made everything more fluid and smooth, and that's, uh, something that uh, helps this phone a lot I mean in long term like even this, to this day it's not slow or, or by any means and uh, the Galaxy S6 is actually one of the first phone in line to receive the latest Android 7 point oh nougat so uh currently obviously it is running on android 6.0.1 marshmallow so if i just quickly go into software and show you guys here 6.0.1 but it is in line to receive android 7.0 nougat there's like a galaxy s6 was benchmarked with nougat like a month ago so uh this note 5 and the s7 and the s7 edge will be the first devices to receive android uh, 7.0 nougat the s6 edge also will receive uh, at, at around this time so i mean if you have the galaxy s6 you don't have to worry about the update is coming really really soon and after that of course you're gonna get all the uh good looking changes to the ui better battery life so with android 7.0 nougat lots of great stuff is coming taking a look at the camera we have a 16 megapixel camera on the back and a 5 megapixel camera on the front so uh this camera can shoot videos up to 4k and it was 
was pretty much the best camera uh, of uh, 2015 and uh, it is still holding up pretty well in 2017 uh, you can get great great quality uh, pictures out of this camera it does a really good job uh, in uh, both outdoor condition and as well as indoor and low light condition wise and also 4k footage looks super good and also a uh, really good dynamic range and the focus is fast I mean I absolutely love uh, the camera performance of the S6 and uh, definitely it offers a lot of uh, modes as well like pro mode and everything and with the Android 7.0 Nougat uh, you're gonna get a good update to the camera UI as well they're gonna add some bit of a more features it will be more easier uh, you know the UI will overall become more easier you know uh, just like we have seen with the Note 7 so good stuff is coming to this phone and Samsung is definitely providing uh, the updates uh, and they're not like forgetting about this phone uh, and uh, yeah I mean camera is great uh, the front camera is also great uh, you can take wide selfies and uh, when we talk about the battery this is where I think that this phone comes short because the battery life is not that great uh, but uh, apart from that overall it is a great phone and it's, it's, it's still got it I mean it's still uh, one of the best purchase you can make if you are getting like a Galaxy 6 uh, with super good in, in super good condition with all accessories uh, I mean you can give this phone a try uh, also offers fast charging uh, again uh, there is no micro SD card slot which can be a bit of a disappointment but it does come with uh, around like 24 gigs of internal memory so uh, if you are not going to install like that many high-end games then uh, you can actually have a good experience but uh, again you can't install that many games uh, because that would you know that would uh, fill up all the storage so yeah in short this is a great phone Galaxy S6 still I recommend this phone you can also save money for the Samsung Galaxy S8 if you really want the best and the next level stuff I mean the S8 won't be having the home button uh, the display will be like almost bezel-less so uh, that phone is gonna be like a futuristic phone and uh, as far as the rumor goes the S8 will get announced in the, in the month of April so that's all what I have to say about the Galaxy S6 in 2017 that was my full review uh, let me know what other devices you want me to review and talk about and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one peace